Well, I think overall it's definitely a boon, definitely a positive thing for young people to be able to connect, to be able to reach out, uh, to be able to get information, uh, timely information, detailed information. Um, but at the same time, because of the um, free uh, nature of social media, the fact that it's uh, unregulated and should remain so, um, obviously you will need to uh, be able to find the right sort of information. It's very easy for people to um, get the wrong information or believe in the wrong information. Uh, but generally speaking, it's good because it, it creates that exposure which otherwise wouldn't be there without uh, social media. And the other thing is, I think, you want to be able to discuss something, especially as a politician, with young people uh, in a way where you can get instant responses from them. Uh, and social media is a great way to, get, uh, to gauge uh, the mood of, of uh, people, especially young people. Obviously, I'm, you know, everyone knows I'm a big Twitter fan. Uh, I like it's, um, it's the speed of Twitter, spontaneity of Twitter, um, the fact that it's, it's fast changing, you have to move along with the timeline, you have to keep abreast with things. Facebook, Facebook's okay, I'm not big on Facebook anymore, but you know, I still entertain it. Um, but um, two new applications I've been looking at, Instagram obviously not so new, I've been on Instagram. I don't use Instagram to post my political photos, I, I use it for more behind the scenes, family stuff. Um, to show the family side of, of my life uh, and Pinterest which I've opened but I've not started yet but I find it um, you know interesting application because visually you can put stuff up on your pin board uh, and I think uh, you know it could be a good way to convey uh, messages because sometimes you know an infographic slide or a picture speaks a thousand words